posted in March of 2020 by YouTuber Steve Ronan. He explores what he describes as an old church that's been around for a hundred years, with power still on and with rumors of rituals still being performed there. Accompanied by paranormal investigator Andrew, Steve and his team set out to explore this temple, which Andrew claims holds dark rituals inside. It's no great surprise then that demons supposedly haunt the place. They arrive on the scene of a truly spooky abandoned place at night, a cemetery surrounding it, overgrown with foliage. Inside the place, there's a door that leads beneath it, which reminds Steve of an abandoned place he previously explored with a tomb below. Opening the door, there appears to be firewood and mason jars down there. As they continue to explore, is in the temple, is that an overhanging light starts swinging. Supposedly no one touched it. They start to hear noises. Yeah, you were with us. Did you just hear that? No, I Bro, like, hello? Did you guys hear that? A scream that sounds like a little girl. A sound from the light which Steve describes like a spine cracking. It's moving back again. Well, it just went. You didn't hear that? Yeah, the light just went. It sounded like a, like a spine cracking. They consider exploring the room below, but a load of spiders prevents them. As they continue around the temple, on the ground they find a pile of burnt books and some cards laid out. Six, six, six. Another six is placed above, though Steve is unsure what it all means. As Andrew is messing about with an AM FM radio, Steve feels something on his back. He says he feels like there's a spider there. He removes his coat so that Andrew can check it out. There is no spider, but two red marks streak across his back. The pair of scratches run from a top to bottom, as if he's been branded. Steve says it burns, and also denies having scratched it on anything. They wonder if it's a trinity mark. Some in the comments of this video suggest that he accidentally scratched himself when climbing under the chapel. Others think that it looks like two lashes from a whip. Brooklyn Girl 230, however, offers advice. Those mysterious scratches are a warning to you to stay far away from these places. Seems like the smartest conclusion to draw here. At around 3 a.m. on April 12, 2010, this strange apparition was captured on the security camera of a bar and grill in Las Cruces, New Mexico. During closing hours, published by Ghost Investigations New Mexico in April of 2010, the crew slowed the frame by frame to one eighth speed and shot video of the bar security monitor. What they captured does indeed look like a floating head. In the regular shot, it appears to flash in and out quite quickly, while in the frame by frame, it looks like it actually flew out of sight. You can make out the eyes, nose, and mouth and ears of the head's face, but it doesn't appear to have a body. There was no one inside the bar and grill at this hour. So, what is this thing? Is it the face? of a spirit? Where did its body go? There's a reason no one parks here. Published by Haunted Forest Monsters in May of 2019, this creepy clip caught a mysterious figure on a parking lot security camera. Captured around 9 p.m., the dark parking lot shines as though it's recently rained. After a moment, a semi-transparent figure is seen traveling from the left side of the lot to the right. Yo, what the f it doesn't stop as it meets a median filled with trees and bushes but appears again in the next parking lot over. Is this a meter made phantom? Or did this once living being lose track of his car for so long he lost his life in the process of trying to find it? I know I see it. Urban explorer Steve Ronan is exploring a town by a lake that was opened in the 1950s and had a very dark history. They had an entire arena where dogs were forced to do horrible things and had multiple passings in the town under strange circumstances. It has since been abandoned and is now considered a ghost town with paranormal energy. Steve explores the area with some locals who show him around. While the entire exploration has some serious 
seriously creepy vibes. There's two parts in particular that are especially frightening. At 12 minutes and 20 seconds, Steve says he caught a demon on camera. Do you see it here? Right here. There's a... Uh... And again at 31 minutes and 20 seconds, Steve says more paranormal activity is caught on tape here. See what this? What the f even this mirror over here. You can see the reflection of the door and my flashlight, but you can't even see me. Overall, I would stay far away from that ghost town. We all know them, the people of Walmart. But it's not every day you run into one who starts screaming in your face. That's what happened to this man who pulled out his phone to record this man's erratic behavior. YouTuber Bakes80 described what happened in his own words. Okay, so I wanted people to see how crazy this guy was. Excuse my language. But this guy was staring and following me in Walmart for about 20 minutes. This is when the uploader decided to record the unfolding event. Pretending to be on his phone, he filmed the man for about a full minute. The man was just standing across the way, watching Big Sadie just as described. He does appear not to be in his right mind, as he turns to someone who isn't there and starts talking. Then the man walks up to Bakes and gets so close, the YouTuber wrote that his hat touched his face. This was why he told him to back off in harsh terms. He wanted the guy to know he was serious. The man responds to this threat by saying he's got all the cop cars in jail. When Bakes stands his ground, the man just starts screaming, don't threaten me in his face repeatedly. Don't threaten me! Walk away. Don't threaten me! Don't threaten me! The people behind him stop dead in their tracks. Even this is too much for the people of Walmart. Then the man hurries away, but you can still hear him shouting, don't threaten me in the background. He's captured again on camera, ranting and raving as he wanders through the checkout aisles, attempting to make his way out. A scary stranger encounter certainly, but also pretty bizarre. YouTubers Twin Paranormal are about to get schooled in this haunted high school. The team is setting up all of their devices and explaining them to the spirits when this happens. We'll just see how this plays out tonight. What? Was that you, Nick? No. Was this Nick? Let's see how this plays out tonight. I don't think so, and I'm not sure what that was. Neither are the guys, and yet it happens again. No, it was, it was like... Is that the little girl? They know they're not alone. Hello? I just heard another one tap. As they speak to the spirits, they feel unsettled. Please communicate with us so we know that that's what you want. Yeah, what is that? What is that? Okay, that was just a clock, but what is this? Ooh, EMF. There it is. Thank you. Ooh. Are you right next to us? What was that noise? Do we interest you? Meanwhile, the K2 is being triggered like mad. You must like the colors, don't you? What the f Q? As they stand in silence, they hear someone approaching. Oh my f oh. Oh. As Ryan heads up the stairs with the ball, he sees something disarming. Here. I just saw an arm move right there, guys. No, you didn't. I did. I did. I saw an arm right around the corner and I just watched it move. You know what? Finally, the spirit uses a paranormal device to communicate its message. Something look at you right there. Yeah, something yeah, yeah. look at you there. 
The team asks the spirit to take action. For us. Hey. Hey, sure. That flashlight right there, right at the top. It's going, it's going. Here we go. Oh, 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 no. Ooh, that's really bright. As the investigation continues, they hear a faint scream. What is that? Is that a scream? And the spirit seems to be leading them into a different part of the school. Over there. Ooh. That was behind. Was that behind them? It seems like it's behind Ryan. Thank you. It's hard. It's. Oh. Something just touched my back. Believe me. The spirit may be stalking them, but maybe it's just playing. When they drop their battery pack, it appears to get a big kick out of it. Hand it to me, man. Was that laughing? I think so. That was, you were just laughing, huh? We just dropped the... And it keeps laughing at them. I an idiot, I know. That was not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you literally tried, you freaking just dropped it before I can even grab. I know you saw me hand it to him. I felt his hand grab onto that battery pack and he just let go like an idiot. Is this spirit trying to torment them? At this point, I just want to know what happened at this high school to cause these spirits to reside here. The Redditor who posted this video to the Chills Narrator subreddit wonders what this mysterious creature might be. Originally posted by John O'Donnell underscore 22 on TikTok, the creature in question races upright on two spindly legs, being chased by what looks to be a coyote. The creature has a long snout and appears to be shaven. As it runs down a residential street, it makes a high-pitched noise to avoid the predator on his tail. The creature jumps in or onto a nearby garbage can, and after the oblivious coyote continues on, the creature flips in a somersault off of the garbage, making yet another strange noise as it does. What is this thing? Let's see what Reddit has to say about it. Some suggest it's a golem, others a cat, and at least one a sphinx cat. Redditor all caps all dust says, it's called the gully Beast. It takes from those who are believed to be inept at distinguishing what's real and what's not. If that's correct, talk about minds blown. When all is said and done, it's either a real mystery creature or just plain CGI. But whatever it is, you have to admit, it's freaky. A fearless ghost hunter named Hassan Barbar takes on a demon in its own home in one of the creepiest paranormal explorations I've seen in a while. First is Snapchat filter which uses facial recognition technology, detects a ghost right in front of him though I suspect it might be falsely detecting a face from this square on the wall. But what the filter could possibly mistake for a face here at 3 minutes and 37 seconds, I have no idea. Maybe it is a ghost. A bizarre trail of flashing dog images does seem to lead him to the real thing, and the extra creepy stuff is all caught on camera. <laughs> The demon is in a small cramped room with no exit, and so Hassan Barbar fearlessly charges forward, fearing no demon. He is expected to have caught it up close on camera, but instead the small room is mysteriously empty, despite there being no other path for it to have escaped through besides the doorway through which he came. He follows the Snapchat filter back to the mysterious square wall, and that's when he sees it again. He runs outside only to find the demon has disappeared from the other side of the wall. The Snapchat taunts him with further positives for a facial recognition. وين بروح وين بيختفي مش عارف هاي هاي في إشي حتى هون he goes to where the figure was just standing and looks through the wall inside sure enough طلع 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 في إشي جنبه زي نار 
By now he understands that this djinn can teleport easily and will not be caught today because it simply does not want to be. He leaves for now, sure to be back another day with a plan to draw it even closer next time for a better look at its gruesome face. The Vancouver Paranormal Society investigates a house whose owner has been complaining of strange activity during late hours. They gather in the living room and decide to address the spirit outright. You can hear two taps after they try and get its attention. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. They next explain the rules of communication and get no response. Give me uh, a knock for yes or two knocks for no. That means it actually tapped twice to signify no when they said they were going to ask it a series of questions. Not only did it respond, but it somehow knew what it was going to be asked before they even said the question, as if that wasn't weird enough. As soon as they ask the spirit if it used to live here, they get a visual disturbance in front of the pillow that's in the woman's lap. Did you used to live here? Somehow, the team misses all of these signs and declares the house to be uninhabited by spirits. After watching these instances, however, I beg to differ. Have you ever gone on a real-life witch hunt? Way of Vlogs has, and he published his scary encounter in June of 2016 writing, finally found where the witch has been living. The YouTuber must have posted other videos of the witch prior to searching for her abode. In this footage, he claims that these stick crosses that he's come across in the woods indicate where the witch he encountered is living. He says there's logs in this wooded area and ceremonial things, although none of that is shown. Then he points out the strangest thing, a teepee made of sticks. As he's filming the teepee, something sets him on edge. He pans around and off to the left stands a woman with jet black hair dressed in white. She's unmoving, but her presence there is unnerving enough to make the YouTuber hightail it out of there. What would you do if you came across this lady in the forest at night? Three friends on a YouTube channel called W2S decide to invent a game that they will all soon regret. All you have to do to win is kick a soccer goal from a rooftop pass. After nearly breaking a window and denting a car, they decide to try the game one last time. When they go to throw the ball to the guy on the rooftop, however, things don't go so well. Their friend misses the ball and tumbles all the way down from the roof to the ground. The only thing that his fall is the roof of a car, which he heavily before slamming into the gravel below. He is somehow miraculously fine. This could have easily resulted in something much worse. A feisty octopus is heading out to sea when it sees it's been caught on camera and has had enough. The creature comes forward and even throws a swing. Getting chased underwater by this deep sea creature is creepy, but the backstory is what makes this video even creepier. Moments before this was caught on camera, Bohema TV says he was swimming in the ocean when he felt something wrap around his thigh. Only when he came back to shore did he realize this was a living creature attached to him and not seaweed like he had originally thought. Here you can see it try to blend in with the rocks for a bit before giving up and swimming away. Apparently, they have really sharp teeth and strong jaws, so luckily Bohema TV got away safely before getting chomped. A YouTuber named King Fresh is hanging out with his crew at a wild and crazy underground car rally. Burnouts and donuts fill the parking lot for a long time until it gets late and most of the drivers go home. Those who remain have more space to do even crazier maneuvers than ever before. Still, none of them could have been prepared for what this sports car does next. Oh, we got a Mustang right here in the wild. What do you guys think? You like it or no? Oh! 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 A Mustang trudges straight towards a small group for no real reason other than to show off. I think they might lose control though because at 8 minutes and 5 seconds you can see it was about to plow straight into King Fresh. The headlights are pointed straight at him and he barely steps out of the way. At a once bustling market turned ghost town in China, this lone figure was captured on camera. 
Published by Paranormal Planet in February of 2020, the video shows a mysterious fog shadow moving into view. As Chinese lanterns hang all around, swaying with the wind, the figure moves across the walkway before it disappears from sight. The uploader writes, This footage was spotted by the person responsible for monitoring the street cameras. Is this a ghost? Or has the Grim Reaper come for us all? We may have just discovered the soundtrack to your nightmares. Published to YouTube by Column A in June of 2019, this clip shows a young man in a prison cell, no context given. He speaks to the camera and, in the midst of his monologue, he gives a strange, otherworldly shriek like a velociraptor. <laughs> Why? Well, YouTubers have a wealth of hypotheses. For example, Lord Woody thinks that the man is sucking the soul out of the cameraman. I just know if I were in this situation, I'd be getting the heck out of there. <laughs> A YouTuber named Sean Durez decides to go ghost investigating with his friends at their studio office, which is apparently haunted. They meet up at 2am and are talking about what they should do next, when something in the next room over wrecks their plans. What actually was that? Approximately 10 seconds later, this sound fills the building. Listen to it and tell me if you think it's real or edited. Wait. By now, they are pretty much freaking out and ready to take off, but the spirit isn't quite through with them yet. You'll see absolutely nobody was nearby when this happens, which makes me think it could be real. All of the lights shut off before they get a chance to leave. One of them turns the camera light on just in time to see their friend blankly staring at them from the ground. I guess he could just be acting, and one of his friends pulled him by his feet, but that still doesn't explain this actual ghost sighting at the very end. Let's go! I think this could be real because the raw adrenaline sends his friend barreling straight through a door. Some visitors should definitely call ahead. Posted to the Ring subreddit by Ashlyn Bra, this resident had an unexpected visitor at her door around 6 p.m. on Vancouver Island. The Ring camera footage shows an enormous bear sniffing around the front porch of this resident's home. After bypassing the front door, the bear wanders to a side window looking briefly up at it, as if considering entering this way. The massive animal then makes its way around the side of the garage and out of sight. Many in the comments are saying pass to this one, while Redditor Bubba9999 is wondering why it has a collar on. Was it tagged for wildlife tracking purposes, or does this big bear have an owner? More importantly, is he going to make this a regular thing? A YouTuber named D Edge detects strange activity in his hallway after leaving his PS4 camera on record. This small figure appears no less than two times, despite the apartment being empty, at least according to the uploader. 20 seconds later, the figure makes its second entrance, hanging around the top of the doorway each time before disappearing into the darkness. I was thinking that maybe this was light coming from the window across the room, but the angle doesn't exactly match up. Something is definitely there, but let me know what you think it could be. This YouTuber didn't notice what he'd captured on camera until he played it back later, and when he saw it, he was scared. Published by Sphinx2720, in March of 2010, the scary video was taken at Gettysburg. The investigator is standing among some boulders at the beginning of the clip. He says the cluster of rocks is called Devil's Den. As he walks around the den, 
again. He appears to capture the devil himself, what looks like a large cloaked shadow figure is looming right in front of the den. Another oddity occurs at the beginning of the video, and was noted by Akeo Ateo in the comments. As the investigator is getting his bearings with his camera, a dark figure in the distance beyond the nearby rock is spotted lurking past. What is going on here at Gettysburg? Do these figures have anything to do with the area's history? At 3.15 p.m. on February the 9th, 2004, a woman named Maura Murray withdrew $280 from an ATM. She looks serious, even frowning perhaps, or maybe I'm looking too deeply into it. Either way, this is the last recorded appearance before she disappeared in a way that's never been explained. Four hours after this video was taken, multiple witnesses saw Maura Murray on the side of the road with a broken down car. A school bus driver pulled over to to help out, but she told him that she had already called AAA, even though phone records later revealed that she hadn't, and so he left her alone, but not before reporting the bizarre experience to the police himself. When the cops arrived 20 minutes later, they found some of her personal belongings were in the car, but missing were her credit cards and cell phone. Maura Murray herself was nowhere to be found. For some strange reason, she simply wandered away from her vehicle after it broke down. None of her credit cards were ever used and her cell phone was not used either, which probably means she didn't make it very far, and yet her body was never found. Police think she might have been planning to take her own life, but if she was planning to do this, then she would obviously have no use for money, so why would she need to take out almost $300 beforehand? Mora appears to be alone in the ATM video so it's likely nobody is making her do any of this. The police have never been able to figure out her motives or if she's still alive. Mora called out of work that day and wrote she was having relationship problems with her boyfriend, but whether this was of her own free will or if someone was making her do this, to cover their tracks remains to be determined and quite possibly never will be properly explained. Nothing else happened for almost 12 years until a rather sinister video was uploaded on YouTube. This video titled Where I Put Mora shows an empty barn in the middle of the woods. A man is laughing over a picture of Mora Murray, but we never do get to see what they look like. Nobody has been able to identify where this barn is or who uploaded this video. It could be a false lead or her actual final resting place. We'll never know for sure, and police, for whatever reason, apparently have stopped trying to find out. These scary stories sound made up until you see the video evidence that goes with it. That's when these scary moments become all too real. What's scarier, Bigfoot or a shadow figure? Shared by Redditor Haunted Luca, this video's mystery could be either. Watch the top right corner of the frame closely. Oh, well. Yeah, did you see the big tree break over there? It was a good snap. Did you see it? Here it is again. There's a big tree break over there. It was a good snap. It looks too solidly dark to be a Bigfoot to me, and I'm of the opinion that a shadow figure is scarier than a Bigfoot, so this Redditor might want to find a different corner of nature to picnic in. Don't watch this video alone at night, warns a YouTube channel called Real Ghost Official. He must not know how brave the average Chills fan is after years of watching scary videos. Anyway, he's exploring some abandoned places in India when a startling discovery is made. Caught on camera is a pale, puzzling, wispy figure. A strange light that disappears into the dark without a trace. If there is a road behind him, then this could be the headlights of an oncoming car playing across the wall. Still, I will admit it is quite bizarre to have a light anomaly suddenly appear in such an extraordinarily spooky location, so a ghost sighting is not out of the question. If only he would have turned around, we would know for sure if this is from a car or not. However, turning around is the last thing you would do if you thought of an apparition in front of you. Central State Insane Asylum in Indianapolis has many secrets. Published to YouTube by D. Holmes 12345 in October of 2006, this is an orb video. But hold up, don't change the video. While a lot of the times orbs caught on video appear to be faint and dust-like, 
This one is different. The large glowing orb is seen behind a fence at the end of a walkway. The orb hovers and then starts floating to the right. As the man filming backs away, startled. Some in the comments are all in, saying this is what a legit orb looks like. Others are convinced it's a light reflecting off of something. Others note that, while you're distracted by the orb, something peeks out at the door at the beginning of the video. Watch again, do you see it? Considering these two figures appear in just 14 seconds of video, it's pretty clear this asylum is a hotspot for paranormal activity. A YouTuber named Piso Mojado records this zombie deer as it mindlessly spins around in circles at a public parking lot in the middle of the day. After a while, it briefly stops and has what could be considered a brief moment of clarity. You alright there, little guy? But then it falls over, gets up and resumes its frantic pacing. It runs in a half circle and heads towards the camera, but then it falls again and starts flailing wildly on the ground instead. The zombie deer seems dazed when it gets up a third time, like something has permanently changed in its mind. It calmly stumbles forward with a blank look in its eyes and drool falling from its mouth. Yeah, he's foaming at the mouth. Watching this video, it's hard to tell if this deer has CWD or rabies like the uploader claims. The two share many common symptoms such as drooling, disorientation, and aggression, so we may never know for sure. Either way, this man is lucky this deer decided to run away at the last moment instead of continuing its slow and steady charge in his direction. This video was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Gobs of Goblins. The Redditor wrote, kept hearing a weird inconsistent tapping noise coming from the ceiling. The attic is directly above my room. Caught one of the times it happened on video. Check the attic and nothing's there. Still kind of freaks me out. I can certainly hear what the Redditor is talking about. Check it out. I know the redditor checked the attic, but I'm thinking something has to be hiding up there. Not everyone is convinced though. Gohan0912 wrote in the comments that they think it's squirrels or birds. So what do you think? Is there a stranger secretly living in this house? Or is the answer really as simple as Gohan thinks it is? Ready to hear one of the most bone-crunching sounds in the world? This was captured at the Australian Reptile Park. The bone crunching noise gives me the chills beyond belief. According to the BBC, saltwater crocodiles take the lives of an estimated 1,000 people per year, many more than sharks do. Would you want to run into one of these monsters? Me neither. A YouTuber named Jay Katera lives outside of an Air Force base somewhere in the southeast Michigan. He has been seeing some strange things in the sky lately, so he decides to point his security camera straight up and live stream. Not too long after, he captures this strange sighting. Jake Katera isn't sure if this is an alien UFO, a secret government project, or some sort of paranormal orb, but he is sure that it was scanning the ground as if it was looking for something. Let me know if you have a reasonable explanation for this, or if you've seen anything that looks similar, especially if you live in the same state as the cameraman. Now Mar 5 is a popular vlogger, with a channel full of entertaining videos and some creepy ones too. One of his creepy videos has him exploring a haunted, abandoned school in his home country of Turkey. The scary things he's caught on tape in this haunted place are no doubt creepy beyond all mention, so I'll let the chilling paranormal evidence speak for itself.
a ghost figure or maybe just a weird person dressed in all black is in this room and refuses to leave. <laughs> I'm not sure if this video of a ghost sighting is real or fake, but I think it could be real because they run out of there faster than any other scary video I've ever analyzed. While out kayaking on Yale Lake, this man soon realizes he isn't alone. Published by Crypto D Nut in June of 2017, the kayaker captures bubbles surfacing from the bottom of the lake, and not just a couple, like enough where the lake looks like a hot tub with the jets on. The kayaker films the strange bubble patch and remarks that there's no current. Just bubbles coming from the bottom of the lake. No current. Then he puts his camera underwater. You can see the bubbles floating up, but you can't see the source. Back out of the water, something enormous erupts in the lake. A huge bubble breaks, right where the YouTuber's friend was kayaking a moment before. What the f <laughs> What the f <laughs> What the f just happened? Leaves in mud have surfaced, and the guys say it stinks. What is this? Is there a lake monster in these waters? Commenter Stevenopoulos likely has the explanation. He writes in the comments that this is concentrated gas that is sometimes produced in anaerobic environments and can suffocate you when released. Others add it was likely a methane pocket burst built up by plant matter decomposing at the bottom of the lake. Opolis warns if you ever see that, get as far away as possible. Well, not a lake monster. The reality is still very frightening. This alleged ghost video was taken on the second floor of a college, but I think it might simply be a chair getting pulled by string. Still, do you see anything here when zoomed in? I can't say I do. If you heard an unexplainable spine-tingling sound, would you have the guts to go investigate? Published to YouTube by Jared McLean in February of 2019, he explains that he heard this terrifying noise outside at 2 in the morning. He said that the sound started out of nowhere and reminded him of a scary movie soundtrack. The noise seemed to be occurring a few blocks away, so he went to get dressed and drove over there to investigate. But the minute he went to leave, the sound ceased. Jared said he wondered if it was paranormal or some natural phenomenon. He asked for his fellow YouTubers to chime in with their theories. Some suggest it sounds like a badly tuned orchestra. Others say someone must have set off every car alarm at once. Still others believe it could be a train's brakes being applied on a nearby railroad track and even more claim that they've heard the same sound themselves. Nash TV guy put in his own two cents writing. There are a ton of reports from all over the world of these strange sounds, with suggestions ranging from underground bases and drilling. What they all have in common is they're scary. At least we can all agree on that much. Any clue as to what this sound could be? A woman was caught disappearing on multiple CCTV cameras at the same time. The incident made the news, and basically nobody is certain what happened. Take a look at these two completely different angles. I 
I can understand a camera malfunction happening once, but the chances of it happening to two separate cameras at the same time is very slim. I don't understand how this could happen, and I'm eager to read your opinions. Do you think that this woman has truly disappeared? Dennis and Tim team up in this video on YouTube channel Nerve Paranormal, and they think this poltergeist is pushing them to do dangerous things. Upon entering the abandoned site, they find something out of place. As they explore, Dennis sees something pass by. Then as they enter, If that wasn't scary enough, this happens. I agree that it's time to leave, but will the evil poltergeist let them? With nowhere to go, they tried to escape from the roof. But they decide against it. They re-enter the house and leave out the window instead. That was a close call, and I agree with Dennis that the poltergeist was trying to drive them out via a risky route. I'm glad they didn't listen though. Prepat Amusement Park is an abandoned park in the Chernobyl region. It was abandoned before its planned grand opening after the meltdown that contaminated the area in 1986. Posted to TikTok by Edwin Calderon 608, this TikToker is wondering what this person is doing in the highly contaminated park. The deserted Ferris wheel looks particularly gloomy, standing still with no one on it. That is, until the viewer zooms in on Google Earth to see a male figure standing in the service box beside the ride. The man isn't armored against the radiation that still pollutes the area. He is completely unprotected against it leaving me to wonder if he's perhaps superhuman. Anyone want to risk a visit to ask him? No, that'd be a terrible idea. Filmed in Canada, this footage has some wondering if this is real. Posted by TikToker Flamecatcher2, in short, it is very real but super rare. Popular Mechanics explains that they are produced by heat plumes stretching miles into the atmosphere and colliding. Only a few anomalies have been recorded prior to this eerie clip. In fact, over the last several years, there have been a number of sightings both in 2018 and 2019. As they become more prominent, scholarly papers investigate how they are formed. This is but one case of it being caught on video, and as some TikTokers thinking this is the most terrifying thing ever, Master Sloth Gaming asks, has anyone tried turning the world off and back on again? Now that's a valid question. This video shows you never know what you might encounter next in the desert. Haley Steele was at Burning Man 2012 in Black Rock City, Nevada, when a massive dust devil formed right in front of her very eyes. Oh shit, here it comes. Oh, that kid's gonna ride right through it.
Amazingly, you can see someone casually riding their bike as the massive cloud of dust surrounds him. If this was happening in front of me, I'd be hightailing it out of there. The last thing I want is dust in my eyes, ears, and nose. Don't let Randonautica take you to just any random place or you might live to regret it. This video is a prime example of why. Alright, going Randonautica. And it took us to this shady park in the middle of nowhere, so let's see what we find. I came across it on a Vietnamese YouTube channel. After doing some digging, I was able to track down the original source to the TikTok account at Haley underscore AIG. Watch this next part closely. Did you see it? Something just peeked out from behind that tree, but that's not all. After the group crosses the bridge, they see the nightmare girl plain as day. I think we have to go over this bridge and our location's a little down there. What the f That would be enough to make me abandon this Randonautica mission, which the team actually considers doing. Oh, uh, what the f Uh, should we keep going? But they don't, and then this happens. What? Why is she following us? Although we can safely assume this is expertly composed fiction, that doesn't mean my soul didn't leave my body while watching this. This video is called Old Man Tries to Lure Me. The person in question might just be bored and lonely, or they might have some really bad intentions. Watch what happens and give me your take. A YouTuber named Soft Flop is riding his bike to work when he passes a man who is sitting at the edge of his lawn. The two greet each other like normal, but then the man eagerly adds that he was just lighting fireworks. This video was taken in July, so I can understand why he'd be doing that. But listen to his voice and tell me if you think he is being over friendly. What's up, bud? Uh, I was lighting fireworks, huh? You were? Sitting out here alone is kind of odd. If you saw somebody randomly using this setup, would you think the owner is out of their mind or just down on their luck? I'm thinking Softflop might have felt a little sorry for him because they do stop and talk. After a while though, the man invites him to go even deeper onto his property to light more fireworks. I guess he could just be feeling patriotic on the 4th of July, but do you think he sounds suspicious here? I'll go grab some fireworks if you want to stay. Soft Flop decides he is fine where he is, and that's when the man starts to touch his bike and offers to fix something wrong with it. Maybe he's just being a nice guy, or maybe he is trying to gauge how Soft Flop reacts to him touching his stuff. Get this out for you a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm good. By now he is standing closer than ever, so Soft Flop gets out of there with a fist pound. Which scenario is the truth? A socially awkward loner trying to meet new people or someone trying to do harm? This Great Dane is walking through the kitchen when a small object crosses its path. Another orb passes by and immediately gets noticed. You don't have to be an animal lover to tell this dog is clearly surprised and uncertain at what it's seeing. The animal freezes in place and then switches into hunting mode, tracking something invisible all throughout the house. I guess the dog could just be reacting to an insect or something, but that doesn't explain one last part, which occurs approximately 1 minute and 23 seconds into the video. This is the exact moment when the headlights of a passing car illuminate a shadowy figure as it runs from left to right. Many people believe this could be a supernatural presence manifesting itself as a shadow person. This combined with the dog's behavior certainly seems to create a strong enough case for the paranormal. This trail camera captures some deer grazing when one of them pauses as if something is nearby. They look directly at the camera, and in that moment a phantom pair of eyes move in the opposite direction. I was thinking that this could be a camera glitch that somehow reflects the deer's eyes back at an angle, but the eyes can be seen briefly again at the 12 second mark, and this time it looks like the deer notices and stares directly at them with more curiosity than fear. 
There are also plenty of other movements where the deer is looking at the camera without the phantom eyes present, so it might not be the equipment after all. Could this be an unknown flying creature like the uploader seems to think? Some cultures believe that the forest itself develops a living spirit to watch over the creatures within, so maybe that is what we are all witnessing here. Patrick Janssen goes into the basement to retrieve some belongings, among them a camera, when he sees something out of the corner of his eye. He decides to start recording all around him since he has his camera anyway, and he's surprised by what he finds. Here it is again in slow motion, a black shadow passing from left to right as he walks forward. A shadow that looks different than his own is shown here at 32 seconds, which looks normal and comes from the proper angle. So tell me if Patrick is just good at video editing, or if there's truly a shadow person in his home, because I think something could be living down there rent free. A YouTuber named Nosy is poking around an old abandoned home that is in rough shape. The place is crumbling on all sides and covered in debris. Some sections look like they could collapse at any minute, so he doesn't go too far inside. It's the middle of the day though with plenty of natural light, so Nosy creeps around the outskirts and even dares to check out a few rooms for a better look. He's having a look through one of the more secure looking rooms on the bottom floor when apparently something notices his presence presence and starts rushing his way. Nosy wisely retreats out to the nearest exit and cuts his adventuring short for the day. The upstairs was not safe for him to explore so it's doubtful that someone would live up there, though still possible I suppose. Either way, the footsteps were clearly human and not from an animal, and Nosy was clearly all by himself throughout this video. Therefore, the only other explanation I can come up with, besides a homeless person, is an actual ghost. Whatever it is, Nosy says that he will go back to the house and solve the mystery once and for all. So be sure to check on his channel to see if he ever does. I hope he stays safe and I wish him the best of luck. A Pakistani health and beauty channel called Beautify With Me recently caught a creepy sighting on video that has left them horrified. A hooded figure in black robes is caught on multiple CCTV cameras, haunting the outside of their house. It looks pretty scary until the figure walks by the first camera, at which point you can see they are wearing sneakers or some kind of modern looking footwear that doesn't exactly match the rest of their spooky outfit. Still, this video is a major departure from the rest of their channel, and this is a really weird video to fake a day before Christmas, so maybe it's real. Not necessarily a real ghost video, but maybe a creepy stranger encounter caught on CCTV, whatever it is. The mysterious figure hasn't shown up on her security camera since, and hopefully never will. Crazy George's Bridge is the name of a legendarily haunted location in Tennessee. This bridge overlooks the very same tracks that a man named George once wandered onto and met a terrible fate. Now George's angry ghost chases away anyone who says his name three times. Strange magic rituals are also said to be practiced out in the woods to honor his name, and so paranormal activity has become a regular occurrence over the years. Tonight a brave YouTuber named Mads Entertainment is ready to settle the legend of Crazy George once and for all, and so he goes on a paranormal exploration of the bridge at night from the top to bottom. Crazy George. Crazy George. Crazy George. The sound of an approaching engine turns out to be nothing more than oncoming traffic. They refuse to give up the ghost hunt and try to address the paranormal directly by speaking into the night sky. If anyone's here, you can come speak into my camera. They are positive that these sound like the noises of a little ghost girl screaming in the woods, possibly a manifestation of black magic rituals in the past. I'm not so sure because I think it could be an animal. 
Here's the sound again. Let me know what you think this scary voice in the darkness belongs to. A YouTuber named Cringy Parkour thinks he hears a scream from within the mouth of a sewer pipe and stands outside contemplating what to do. He walks into the pipe for about half a minute and comes across one of the most authentic looking creatures that I've seen so far. What the Hello? There's very little to make me believe this video is fake. You only see it for a split second, but the creature has glowing eyes and what appears to be long, sharp teeth. The audio really does match the overall timing of the video, and the creature's screams echo loudly and realistically as it gives chase. I really hope that this video is fake and that this was just one of his friends, but something tells me this was probably real. While this isn't an extraterrestrial, it very much looks like something straight out of a sci-fi film published by the Mastercaster in December of 2020. This group just caught a lamprey, an ancient jawless fish with a mouth made of rows of vampire-like teeth. We just caught a lamprey in the Jordan Creek right now. Look at that dude. Oh. The parasitic fish is native to the northern and western Atlantic Ocean, and its funnel-like mouth sucks on all types of fish prey, including catfish, trout, sturgeon, walleye, and more. This monster was captured in the group's local creek, but lampreys have also been found in the Great Lake region. Many in the comments are familiar with the lamprey, with commenter John Sparks warning, be careful, it will latch onto you. Apparently, this thing preys on humans too. A tropical storm has passed through here, and aside from causing a messy yard, this family seems to have been largely spared from the bad weather, or so they think. <laughs> Luckily, everyone is alright and fortunately, the tree didn't go through their house. So if you live near the woods and have a serious storm pass through, remember, this scary CCTV video is exactly why you wait until it's dry before going outside. There's only one thing scarier than a ghost sighting. A ghost sighting you. That's what Garments One claimed to have caught on video in a churchyard in Estolt, United Kingdom. The footage opens on a shot of a church. After panning down, the distinct figure of a girl peering around the corner of the building comes into view. She quickly darts back and out of sight, and when pursued has disappeared into thin air. The shot pans back to the corner, up the building and around, but the ghost girl is nowhere in sight. Whether you're a believer in the paranormal or a skeptic, this video will make you look twice. Him and two of his friends are going to explore a house that is legendarily haunted. According to local lore, this is a place where devil-worshipping members used to perform rituals, and the surrounding area has never been the same since. Beyond this information, all they know is that its general location is somewhere deep in the woods. They follow a trail and eventually come across a large abandoned house in the middle of the night. The three of them all get a strange feeling. and instantly know that they are in the right spot. The door is open and they bravely march inside. Beyond a room filled with strange scrawlings, they find a dark room that stinks like something rotting. Dolls are hanging by their necks. Just when they are about to leave, they suddenly are approached by something that comes up from behind. Jesus. A strange and unsettling gurgling noise follows them as they run out of the house and into the open night air. Whether this was scripted or legitimate is anyone's guess, only they know for sure, but even still, they may be too shaken to talk about it. This leaked video is reportedly taken by two friends somewhere in the United States. 
Their dog Jake starts to bark with excitement and really doesn't seem to want to go any further. Watch how the animal crosses directly in front of their snowmobile multiple times, almost like he's warning them to stop and turn around. The two friends don't really think much of it and keep going straight, and that's when they come face to face with it. Holy A nearby tall grey creature sends them racing away. The alien-like creature doesn't make much of a sound at all, or at least not one that the camera can pick up, but I do think I can see its head turn towards them at the 2 minute and 20 second mark. The way the dog is acting before this happens also makes me believe this leak video could be real. If you have a fear of heights, you might want to step away slowly from the edge of this video. El Camino del Rey, or the King's Little Path, is a high walkway in Spain that traverses a narrow gorge in El Charro near Malaga. Originally built to allow workers at a nearby hydroelectric power plant to transport materials, the walkway was first constructed at the turn of the 20th century. Three feet in width and 330 feet above the river below, the walkway twists and turns around the steep walls of the gorge in a way that will make your head spin. It has been partially closed for more than 10 years after it fell into disrepair. In fact, it was once called the world's most dangerous walkway as five passings occurred. Across only two years, renovations allowed the walkway to be reopened in 2015. Going back to the original, by 2006 much of the path had deteriorated. Several sections of the original concrete had completely collapsed, leaving large open gaps only traversable by the steel beams. The handrails were pretty much non-existent, with only a safety wire in its steed. Regardless, Daredevil still walked the King's Path, and passings occurred regularly. Published in March of 2011 by AM, this video shows what it was like to walk the King's Path when it was in disrepair. The crumbling concrete stairs are guarded only by a short length of handrail. As the hiker makes his way upward, you can see the drop below is no joke. A single misplaced step can throw you hundreds of feet to your demise. Despite the risk, you can see why people put themselves in harm's way. The solitude surrounded by the glittering river below and the jagged rocks of the gorge is an experience worth having, not to mention the adrenaline rush of being a misstep away from passing on. Still, if your heart is pounding just by watching this video, I wouldn't recommend it. I certainly wouldn't do it either. Lord British LP is standing on his porch as a big storm rips through his neighborhood. His internet is down so he records a video about nothing in particular to help pass the time. That's when he temporarily goes blind. <laughs> A bolt of lightning hits the street lamp in front of his house and fills his vision with whiteness. He runs cursing into his house to get away. It's easy to miss, so I circled the street lamp that was struck by lightning to give you a better look at just how close he came to being literal toast. What's the creepiest thing that you've found on an urban exploration? I'm betting it's not creepier than what explore abandoned places with tattoo Tony Alton found in St. Louis. The YouTuber published this in February of 2017 writing, We found part of a spinal column in the basement of this creepy abandoned house. The YouTuber goes on to say that the entire street is abandoned. No big surprise if it's scary and dangerous. Tattoo Tony says the houses here were built sometime between 1910 and 1916. As he enters the first building, you can see that it's completely tattered and dilapidated. The wallpaper is flaking from the walls. The ground is absolutely covered in debris and filth. There's still furniture left over in some of the upstairs rooms. It looks as though whoever lived in these homes just up and left one day, leaving everything behind. As he walks through the building, you can hear wind whipping through the place. So it's understandable why the ceilings and all the walls are flaking. But it's when Tony heads into the basement that things get really chilling. Here, he comes across part of a spinal column. Some in the comments debate whether it was from an animal or a human. Whatever the species, Tony wrote, it was a little spooky, urban exploration can have its risks. 
The question is now, what is the story behind the spinal column? Captured at Hillview Manor in Newcastle, these paranormal explorers face their fears. Published by SCWC in October of 2019, the uploader calls this the scariest moment of their entire life. Although the video has no sound, the YouTuber says footsteps charged at them from down the hallway. The video shows their terrified reaction as they all look toward it. One of them even dives out of the way as the invisible spirit charges toward them. Noting that the footsteps ran between all of them, the uploader writes, The walls and floor shook with every footstep this spirit took while running. Well, you don't see anything run past. This group's synced reaction seems more than genuine. What was in the Hill House with them? This sea creature looks like a tiny mollusk until it pokes a little further out of its shell and gives us a better look. Oh, I. Yeah, one big yellow. Oh, wow, look at it stick all, all the way out. I didn't get to see it. Look how far it's sticking itself out now. According to the uploader, this creature has ten tentacles and two claws, so it's not an octopus or a squid. He said he doesn't think it's a hermit crab either, and that's what I wanted to get your opinion on. Maybe this is some kind of parasite that ate a clam, but I'm not sure. There's an old abandoned bus in the woods that's supposed to be haunted. According to legend, the school wanted to get rid of the bus after someone lost their life on the way home. It switched ownership a few more times before a ghost hunter purchased it for a low price. He's out randomly recording it one day when all of a sudden he hears this. The man recording says that he does not have any children and that he is on his large wooded property all by himself. I will say that the voice does sound like it's coming from inside of the bus or at least someplace close. I guess he could have a daughter or something who is hiding inside, but probably not. Then, as he is walking closer to the bus, he suddenly hears this very clearly. This could be a prank, but it could also be the ghost of a girl who does not know that she has passed on. She apparently tries to get his attention by cheerfully saying hello, but he runs away, leaving her behind in her rotting bus. Are you a social media influencer? The next time you're off in your own world filming your next Twitter phenom, don't look over your shoulder. Posted to YouTube by BTS in May of 2019, this video will haunt you. The Twitter video begins like any other, with its star checking himself out in the camera before taking some film of the passing city scene outside his car window. Looks just like a normal everyday video to brighten everyone's Twitter feed, but as many YouTubers pointed out in the comments of this video, some random shadow appears behind the star's left shoulder. What is this creeping shadow lingering just behind him? Is it something paranormal or just a ghostly fan watching him? Judge for yourself. Either way, it's 100% frightening. Who would win in a swamp fight? A deer or an alligator? You're about to see. Published by Hazy Season in June of 2019. This scary video was captured at Squaw Creek Reservoir in Glen Rose, Texas. At first, the fisherman thinks he's looking at a huge fish. Gosh, look at those. What is that? Is that a dead fish? But as he gets closer, he realizes it's a deer in the water. The deer is no longer alive and it's being pulled down into the water's depths. Looks like a deer, dude. It's a dead deer. Holy sh! By something that is so far unseen, the crew is wondering what's gotten hold of it. They watch for a moment and soon realize a gator's got him. They then let nature take its course. Dude, what happened? Did it just like fall down this hill? Holy! Holy! 
Although we probably all could have guessed that the Gator would win this battle, I'm sure we were all rooting for the underdog. This dirt road has its own security guard. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in February of 2021, a team faces off with a mysterious figure on a deserted road. As they drive in the middle of the night, wolves are howling all around. The atmosphere is unsettling. As they turn a corner and head down a hill, a figure in a black robe is captured up ahead in the headlights. Wearing a hood that blocks their face, the figure starts to slowly walk toward the vehicle, which backs up in response. The figure continues to approach the vehicle even after it's reversed far enough to not be a threat. While many in the comments are saying the figure was likely not a ghost, since it casts a shadow, others are calling the footage scary and dangerous regardless. If not a ghost, who is this person and what do they want? This list is full of stalkers, and they all seem to have one thing in common. They like to stand still outside people's homes, especially after receiving a note that said, I'll see you here after 6pm, remember Mr. Slim. A few hours later, he heard someone or something outside his house. Camera in tow, he peered out his upper window. There was a man standing on the sidewalk below, wearing dark colors and what appeared to be a ski mask. As the boy dropped his camera to the left and then returned again back to the stalker, he found that the man had disappeared. So he did exactly what none of us would do. He raced downstairs to go outside and find the stalker but the man was nowhere to be found. The boy said that he was starting to get worried and debated whether or not to tell his parents. Most in the comments section agree that he should, while others offer more sage advice. Next time, don't go outside. Your step, this super mom saved her child from an evil that lurked just out of sight. Published by YouTube channel Hindustan Times, the CCTV footage shows the mother and child leaving home through their front door while a giant cobra slithers past in their blind spot. Let's watch what happens. At first oblivious to the venomous snake, the observant mother notices its presence after her child disturbs it. As the snake arches up to strike, the protective mother skirts past it, scooping up her child and moving out of harm's way. The cobra moves slowly off as they watch from a safe distance. To me, this scary video illustrates that a mother's first instinct is the safety of her child. Without hesitation and with lightning-like reflexes, this mother sacrificed her own safety to protect her child's. And as for the cobra, it appears he wasn't looking for a brawl. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.